Hey guys, this is Gaston again in a new tutorial, a new Photoshop tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to create a uh, grass effect in your text in Photoshop. So first of all I'm going to show you what we're gonna need in this tutorial. So I'll put the download links in the description, that's our final project. You will get this one right here. We need this grass photo right here and two textures and two photos of a bug and butterfly so first of all I'm going to open my Photoshop I'm going to begin our work our skill level today is advanced actually because it needs some skill but with this tutorial can do it easily so I'm going to create a new document with the resolution of 12 1280 by 720 and, the, and hit OK okay first of all I'm going to unlock my background right here and I'm going to type control zero okay now we are going to prepare our um, our background so get your gradient tool I'm go going to change the colors so the first color is A D B F for one okay and hit OK the second color is three two eight a two six and hit OK OK again and make sure that it's radial gradient and drag it over here you get this cool effect now I'm going to open my texture so I'm going to use a shortcut Control O I'm going to use first this texture over here I'm going to drag it to my document zoom out a little bit and make it full with our background okay I'll get back control zero and now what you're gonna do is another shortcut is control shift U and I'm going to change the blending mode to overlay you can get this I'm going to open another texture control O and this time I will take this one open drag it to my document and the same work control shift U and change the blending mode to overlay and I will change the opacity to 70% okay now it's still to do one work um, I'm going to add a new layer take my brush tool and the light brush this one for example I'm going to increase the size that's good make sure that black is your foreground color and make a contour around our background okay that's great I'm going to change the blending mode to overlay and decrease the opacity to 30% that's great now I'm going to merge our this layers I'm going to name it background okay now our background is ready now we are going to add the text that we're going to do actually I have two two ways to make a grass text so I'm going to show you the, the, the both so let's start with the first one I think it's the most difficult way so I'm going to open my grass picture okay this is our grass picture over here I'm going to type our text make sure that your font is 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 franchise I think yeah franchise change your text color to white okay now I'm going to increase the size of my text I can do some effects that's great okay that's good now change the opacity of this text to 50%. Now our work is basically in the pen tool, apply the pen tool, this one. So follow me and I, I want, I'm going to make a contour on my first letter. It's the first way to make a grass text. Okay, you can make some grass effects right here like I'm doing. But don't make a lot of grass around the text make sure that it's 
not bigger than your rudder don't care about it because you have a second way and it's the easiest one so just to show you how to make it if you want that okay once you're done with that go to window and paths and you will see here load um, load paths click and you will see the selection make sure that your background is selected you can go and move it because um, Photoshop is not configured much with that so I don't use this you can use it on your CS4 or CS3 CS5 because my Photoshop is not configured so I'm going to use the second way so don't care about it okay in this one I'm going to add the text in the same layer okay type your text guess don't care about the color actually because you're going to make to make a clipping mask that's that's the wor basically the work we're going to do pretty much on okay make it bigger okay so I'm going to add a last effect so control a shortcut um, apply first control a and choose the second one and the fifth one to make it make it in the center and in the right place okay control D to deselect now I'm going to add my grass and open it okay that's my grass I'm going to grab it over here and right click create clipping mask you see here I have all all the grass effect without doing any last okay I'm going to merge these two layers layer and merge layers I'm going to duplicate this four times Get four copies take this two one and make a group and take the two the others and make another group okay I'm going to add some blending modes blending options to this one so first of all go to bevel and emboss and change the size to 10 pixels and check use global light and the contour I'm going to use is this one okay now I'm going to change the opacity of the highlight mode to 16 and the shadow mode to 25 oh sorry go to the satin and change the blending mode to screen and I'm going to change the color to uh, my, my background color actually okay I'm going to make it more darker um, okay size is good now I'm going to change the opacity to 34% 34% uh, sorry it's 30% and change uh, my contour to this one bring and hit ok okay I'm now I'm going to add blending options to the second or the first one actually okay now I'm going to drop shadow and change the blending mode to um, not not the blending mode I'm going to change this one to distance to 2 and the size to 1 and I'm going to change the opacity to 34% okay make sure that you can check the use global light now go to bevel and emboss okay and change the size to 1 pixels and the opacity of the highlight mode is 0 and the opacity of the shadow mode to 100% okay now the last one is blending options default go change the the whole layer the best of the whole layer to 50% our work is done with this first one but we still have some work so okay now I'm going to add a shadow to our layer over here so make sure that black is your foreground color hold control and click on the layer icon that makes a selection now to fill this layer with black click alt and backspace oh, sorry okay our work is done now I'm going to deselect it control D and using your arrows key move it a bit to the left and a bit 
to the to the bottom till you get this effect right here. Now it's still to get work some things. Go to filter and blur and motion blur. Change the angle to 45 percent, 45 angle, the degrees and the distance to 40 pixels, and hit OK. Now move it to the right on the left and hit Control F again. Move it again and you will get this cool effect over here, 3D effect. It's good. Now you have s something else to do. So select your s last layer, go to your burn tool and make some darken color to your letters over here just last effect you know actually we don't need it but you can make it better you can make your photo better and your text better don't care about it okay you'll see this it's great now we are going to add mm, a light okay so Select this one, add a new layer, and take your gradient tool and make this one it's white. This one is white also, but this and make the opacity to zero percent and make one over here. Okay, change the blending mode to overlay. You see this light, another light over here overlay now we are going to add the animals actually to the, to the photo so grab it control O grab this one control O to grab this also okay going to make a selection select over here and control shift I to invert the selection and take your move tool and grab it your document decrease the size a little bit I'm going to rotate it make it um, here it's okay move it and make it to the letter A or any letter as you want okay that's great now I'm going to add my butterfly so make another selection control shift I and grab it your photo. I'm going to add to so decrease the size, okay? Like this. Go to edit, treat, uh, transform, and perspective. Change, okay? That's great. Apply it. I'm going to put it right here over here. So increase the size. Put it right here. It's okay. Now that's my our final result guys. I think you like my tutorial. It's really easy. I will put all the links in the description without any virus. Believe me, promise guys. I'm very verified. You can check it online. Uh, okay. Let's get some from PC professionals. I hope you like my tutorial and good